All right, YouTube, back after removing the ceiling in the other half. We uh, actually filled this truck up one more time since the last video and already took it to landfill, got it just before they closed. <laughs> uh, had a good dime. All this wiring, we took it out today. That was hanging all down from the ceiling and rafters and stuff. And boy, wasn't that fun. It was all alive. Got this insulation, rolled it up, got it in here. So we'll actually save that for another job. Nothing fancy, but at least keep, keep something in use. Re-cleaned up our mess, got rid of the carpet. Well, that scaffolding did come in handy. Used it today. All that wiring that was hanging down, it's now all gone. There you go. All that ceiling is gone. All the rest of the staircase opening is gone. A huge hole in the ceiling we gotta block off before we leave but it was pretty interesting getting that all down i'm gonna have to start getting somebody to film me as uh i get up here and start removing this stuff because when we cut them loose off these here studs sticking out of the wall for the floor joists that they had makeshift it came down and crashed through the wall and it didn't just get to this wall it went through the bedroom wall as well Oh well, we'll fix it. That's just another smaller repair that we have to do compared to all of this big mess. Did not get this ceiling out yet, but maybe tomorrow we're going to get it out. We just kind of kind of call it quits today. Don't really want to fill up the truck and have to take it in the landfill tomorrow. I think we're going to pull the rest of the ceiling out tomorrow. Pull all that insulation out of that wall. And see what it's going to take to push that wall back past the kitchen. We're going to open up the kitchen into this area. Old big open space. Huge open living room, dining, gaming room. However you want to call this monster of a space. Ideal is for that hole in the wall, basically. From here is going to have a landing. Staircase goes up to right there. We're going to clean all this crap up. That bathroom, we're going to take it completely out. That, where the uh, attic fan went up, it's coming out. Going to push all that back. Somewhere, the ceiling, these rafters are all going to come completely out. We're going to tear all this decking off and raise that whole roof up four feet. So I'll give you a grand total. If I'm thinking if these are two feet here and we build a four foot extending wall on it, then that'll give us six feet of headspace above all of this. So when you're up there in that master bedroom up there, it's going to have a bathroom up there. It's going to have a huge bedroom up there. It's going to be awesome. When that's all cleaned out there, hopefully we'll have some videos of us doing all the remodel up there because there's a big window up there we're going to take out and put some bay windows in. Over the back of the house, we're going to build a, a balcony over it. So when you go up there, you'll have to go out the bay windows out to the balcony. This house is going to be something when it's actually done compared to all this uh, nonsense that was jerry-rigged all together because how they built this wall, if you can see it in the video, how they just scabbed a bunch of 2 by 4 side by side, don't even go to the daggum top plate. They just kind of scabbed everything together. Continue down this wiring and this wall. Gee, how many crickets. This wiring is sketchy as it can ever be. This doorway opening, casing. And then here's where they did the fireplace. They got all my walking stuff in the way. But this, I don't even know why they didn't even put a floor back over here. They just left it open, just threw a piece of plywood over it, built the blocks around it, called it a day. But all that termites ate all this out. There was a post right there, but termites took it out. But we'll get to it. One, de one step at a time, waiting on the weather to dry up the ground and get better. But thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.